I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Today, you're going to learn how you can use Betaflight's smart audio feature to control the channel and transmit power of your video transmitter without ever touching your copter. Stay tuned. Smart audio is a really exciting feature in Betaflight 3.1, but I have to give credit where credit's due. I believe the original inventor of smart audio was Team Blacksheet, and they introduced it, I think, in their Power Cube, uh, in their Power Cube, um, Power Cube, <laughs> and uh, and then it was later adopted by the Brain FPV, and now it is a standard feature in any Betaflight 3.1 or future build. What smart audio lets you do is connect your video transmitter to your flight controller, and then from within the flight controller, you can change basically the channel and the transmit power are the main things you can change. Although if your video transmitter has something like a pit mode, you could also put it into or take it out of pit mode, and who knows what else they'll come up with. Now the first thing you need to know about smart audio is that in order to make it work, you need Betaflight 3.1, and you need a video transmitter that supports smart audio. Right now, the main video transmitter that supports smart audio is the TBS Unify. And that makes sense since TBS was the original inventor of smart audio, as far as I know. If you have an Immersion RC Tramp video transmitter, you can do the exact same thing, but it's not exactly smart audio. You see, the way smart audio works, some clever person, probably trappy at TBS, thought to himself, well, all these video transmitters have an audio line for a microphone, but many pilots aren't flying with a microphone. Let's put that to some use. And you can send digital data over an audio line. Think back to the days of your modem dialing up to the internet, right? That's just digital data being encoded as audio signals. So what Smart Audio does is it lets the flight controller encode digital data commands like change channel or change your output power as audio data on the microphone input or the audio input to the video transmitter. So it's a very, very clever thing. What the Tramp does, the Tramp actually has a telemetry line. It's basically a digital input line. And so on the Tramp, when you set up smart audio, you're not using the audio line, but everything else that I'm about to describe is exactly the same, except for the fact that with the Tramp, you use the telemetry line instead of the audio line. So how do you set up smart audio? Well, number one, you need a spare UART on your flight controller. It can be any UART you, you want that you're not using for anything else. Uh, it can even, I believe, be a soft serial port if your flight controller has soft serial. I'm pretty sure that soft serial can support smart audio, at least in the latest versions. I think maybe not in 3.1, but maybe in like 3.15 or 3.16. Give it a try, see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then it won't work for you. You're going to take that UART and you're going to wire that UART to the audio, or if you have the tr uh, the tramp, the telemetry line on your uh, video transmitter, and then you set up Betaflight, and that's all there is to it. Let me take you into my specific example where I'm using the Betaflight F3 flight controller and show you exactly how I wired it up. So here is my Betaflight F3 flight controller in the All Carbon RC Coyote frame, uh, and if I zoom in here on the UARTs, you can see that this white wire, it's coming from the TX line, the transmit line, and that will allow the flight controller to transmit commands out to the video transmitter. That is the white line is the audio line on the wiring harness for the TBS Unify that I'm using. And that's literally all there is to do it as far as wiring goes. Everything else is exactly the same. You wire the camera and so on as before. We're not going to get into that in this video. As far as setting up Betaflight goes, it's again, very simple. You're going to go to the ports tab. And then go over to peripherals, and on the UART in question, choose either TBS Audio or IRC Tramp, depending on which video transmitter you've got. And that is literally all there is to it. Now, from within your Betaflight OSD, you can go and you can change your video transmitter to transmit power, uh, the, uh, channel, and anything else you want to do. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Now you should know, I think, how to set up smart audio. But if you have any specific questions about your copter, go ahead and ask them down in the comments. I also need to say thank you to one of my patrons, Mr. Pink, for requesting this video and also for sending me a TBS Unify video transmitter for use in a future build. Now that I have gotten a taste of smart audio, I have to tell you I kind of don't want to go without it. Isn't it so annoying when you get to the flight field and you're not on the right channel and then you need to change channels and you're digging around with dip switches and if your flight field is anything like mine, what ends up happening is that nobody ever wants to change their channel and everybody is just clobbering everybody else's channel and it's a big mess. And I hope that smart audio continues to become the norm going forward and that 
every video transmitter, even the cheapy little $10 Chinese ones, supports it eventually at some point. Uh, one more reason to love Betaflight OSD, and again, that, I hope that that becomes the standard going forward too. Thank you for watching. I hope this was educational. I hope you learned something, and as always, happy flying.